Ooh, beautiful smell. Welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Sierra and I'm an American living in England. Every week I make a video about my family's life here and whatever it is that we happen to be up to on the weekly. In today's video, as you guys can tell, I'm going to be doing a little Lush unboxing and it's actually going to be our first unboxing for the year of 2023. Well, that might not be true. I'm not sure when it's going to be uploaded. But anyways, if you're watching this in 2023, happy new year. And if not, happy new year for the future. Anyways, okay, so anyways, let's get into this unboxing. The box for this month looks like this. Obviously, I tore off my address, but I don't know what's going to be in here, but it does say to be open in 2023, so I've heard rumors that it's supposed to be either a time capsule or it's all new products, but based on what it says here, I'm guessing it's a time capsule. It's going to be all retro products. I'm very excited. Probably things I've never tried before, but I can't wait anymore, so let's open up this baby. As per usual, I have no idea what is inside. I've been avoiding social media since its release date, so I'm going to open it up and we're going to see what's inside. So first item, it has a little card. Uh, the postcards are always so cute and a note on the back. I don't want to read it because it's going to mess up the surprise of what's inside. First order of business, it looks like there's some kind of a bag. Oh my god, is it one of those like stop animal testing bags maybe? No, it looks like it's just a classic Lush carrier bag. That's pretty cool. Um, now I guess I can use this every time I shop in the store. Is my name on it? Oh no, okay. Uh, last time Lush Kitchen sent a bag in their boxes. My name was written in the back of this little toiletry bag and it was super cute. So anyways, we also have the guide of what's inside the box. Ooh, beautiful smell. So first item out of the box seems to be a shower gel of sorts. Wait, no it's not. It is the Starcraft Facial Cleanser. Starcraft Facial, facial Cleanser is, I've never used it before, but I have heard that it's kind of like a creamy, milky, like facial wash. So that should be really interesting. Maybe similar to 9 to 5, not sure, but let's open it up and give it a little smell and see what it's like. I don't really smell much of anything in here. I don't know. Main ingredients are oat milk, almond oil, honeysuckle infusion, lavender flower infusion, and a lavender oil. So maybe it's just supposed to be like a really soft, like cleansing lavendery scent. Let's see again. I don't really smell anything right now. It might be one of those ones that the scent comes out in the water, but it's also could be that there's a lot of other smells coming from the box wafting up. So my nose is a little thrown off. But anyways, I'm excited about this because I need a new facial cleanser. And I also really like this because it has the old, like classic retro packaging that Lush stores used to have back in the day when they first opened. So. I think that's really cool. It definitely makes it gives it that like homemade touch that it kind of used to have back then. You know what I mean? Anyway, so moving on to the next item. It is a ooh, really pretty bath bomb. And I don't know what it is, so let's check on the guide. It is the slammer bath bomb. Interesting. Okay, let's give it a little smell. Ooh, it's very sweet and citrusy. It kind of smells a little bit like sherbet lemon, which came out for Christmas. What was it, like four years ago or something? Okay. Let's check the ingredients. It is scented with Listeria cubeba oil, Sicilian lemon oil, and gardenia extract, which is probably why I like it because I love lemon and gardenia. So let's give it one more smell. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And it's very pretty. It's like, I don't know, a Sicilian wok in your bathtub. It's kind of what it sounds like. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, moving on to the next item. We have a soap here. It is the Banana Moon Soap, which is another product I have never tried. I can smell it already. It kind of smells like the Nana shower gel a little bit. So let's give it a smell. Ooh, no, close up. It is very different than the Nana shower gel, but it feels really moisturizing because um, it's actually sticky and already kind of melting on my fingers. So I'm going to put it down and then we'll check out the ingredients. Okay, the main ingredients in Banana Moon Soap are rapeseed oil and coconut oil, which is why it's so soft and moisturizing. It also, for scent, it is fair trade bananas, soya yogurt, extra virgin coconut oil, laudanum resinoid, and gardenia extract, which again, I feel like it's going to go really well with this bath bomb because they both have gardenia in them, but ooh, that smells really good. I really like that. And I'm very excited for all the moisturizing properties because I think it's going to be really nice. So awesome. Okay, moving on to the next item. We have another shower gel of sorts and it is the narcotic purifying shower gel, which another one, of course, I have never tried, but it says on here is lavender water brings balance is fresh lemon juice and tree treat oil clarify for clear and confident skin. Exciting. Okay, let's give it a smell. It's probably going to be like, like sleepy, but like herbally. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, 
that smells very familiar to me. Kind of like, it kind of smells like a shampoo I used to use when I was really young. I think it was like maybe like a Paul Mitchell or something that had tea tree oil in it. You know what I'm talking about? But, oh, I really like that. It smells really good. So I guess it's supposed to be very, um, like detoxing for the skin, which after all the food y'all and I have been eating for Christmas, we're gonna, our skin, I think is going to need a bit of detoxing. So let's see what the ingredients here officially are. So it is scented with first rose petal infusion. Great. Lavender water, fresh lemon juice, sea salt. Okay. I guess the sea salt is going to help like um, kind of exfoliate a little bit, even though it's in the shower gel. Um, lemongrass oil, sage oil, tea tree oil, and brandy. Huh. Okay, I do not smell the brandy in here. But that's really interesting scent profile. I really like that a lot. That's exciting. So, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, and then I think there's only maybe one more product in the box, which makes me very, very sad. And it is a bubble bar. Oh, mine is not in the prettiest of condition. Um, but it is the anti Pamela bubble bar. Um, this is really interesting looking. It kind of reminds me of the Ba bar or the Ma bar. I think it's called Ma ba bar and it has a sugar cube inside as far as the shape, but let's see what the smell is. Hmm. It's kind of like, I don't know, like, um, a little bit florally and a little bit sweet. So let's see what it is scented with. Auntie Pamela is a bubble bar that is scented with a rose absolute, vanilla absolute, ylang ylang oil, gardenia extract, and calmine powder with fresh rose petals. Mmm, okay, yeah, I see what I mean by it smells like Auntie Pamela. I just wish that mine was a little bit prettier. I think that it's supposed to have flower petals inside on here. Um, I'll put this picture that came with. And with that being said, it looks like that's the end of our Lush video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I think that my favorite product in the box is probably the StarCraft Facial Cleanser um, because I love trying new cleansers and I need a new one that's a little bit different for this time of year for my skin. And I think my least favorite product... I don't even know if I can pick one, but maybe my least favorite product is probably the carrier bag. Not that I don't love a carrier bag. Even though it'll be useful, it's not really a bath product. So yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section what your favorite product from the box is. Subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.